Hello everyone, my name is Chen Hao. I'm glad to come here and share our work in NMVE 2020. Our research topic is PCC Arena, a benchmark platform for point cloud compression algorithms. This work is a collaboration with Jifan, Tingjun, Karsten, Michael, Jihadin, and Chen Xing. So first, what can point clouds do? Here are some applications relying on point clouds. Hologram, 6 degree of freedom VR, AR applications on end devices, and scene reconstruction in autonomous car. Point clouds have better potential and performance than meshes on these applications. A point cloud streaming with acceptable visual quality requires about 4 gigabits per second. With point cloud compression, we can compress it with 10 to 1 ratio or more. Therefore, we need point cloud compressions. Common PCC algorithms can be categorized to two types, signal processing based and machine learning based. SP based use space partialing data structure like ARC tree, KD tree, voxelization to improve the quantization, hence reducing data size. ML-based store features extracted with AE, VAE, CAN, and so on, and reconstructed the point cloud with those features. But here's the problem. We don't have a quantitative quality assessment method to compare the performance of PCC algorithms. Therefore, we dedicate to come up with a solution. Let me introduce our benchmark platform. First, here are the design principles of PCC Arena. Open source. We want to contribute our platform to the community and welcome other researchers to join us. Comprehensive. We want to compare the PCC algorithms in every aspect with our platform. Compatibility. The platform needs modularization to adopt different datasets, metrics, and PCC algorithms. This is the high-level architecture of PCC Arena. First, we got the input point cloud from datasets, then passing it into preprocessing module. Here's an example of preprocessing module, voxelization. The main idea of voxelization is merge all the points to one in a voxel. So how to merge multiple points to one? There are several methods. First, we can simply use the centroid to represent all the points in that voxel. This method produces uniform point cloud just like this figure. Second, instead of using the centroid of voxel, we calculate the center of gravity of all the points in that voxel. Of course, we assume the mass of each point is the same, like the figure below, the method maintains more representative to the input voxel. Voxelization is only one example. There are other preprocessing approaches, such as rescaling, downsampling, and so on. After preprocessing, the point cloud is sent to encoder and come out as binary file. We will then send the binary file into decoder. Basically, Post-processing is the reverse function of pre-processing. Finally, we get the output point cloud. Feed input and output point cloud into performance evaluator, then we get quality distortion and binary size, which will lead to some rate distortion curves that we will show in a few slides. With the binary size, we can choose the coding parameter used in the next round with our rate controller. Each of the PCC algorithms has the range of practical minimum and maximum coding parameters. We need to select proper coding parameters so that the PCC algorithms are comparable. Our goal is to cover the whole range of practical bit rates. We set a minimum and maximum bit rate first. We pick up a random coding parameter between the minimum and maximum coding parameters. Then, we compress the point cloud with that coding parameter and get the corresponding bit rate. 
With that corresponding bit rate, we adopt binary search on corresponding coding parameter to get several sample bit rates. This process will loop until the number of sample bit rates meets the user's requirement. Let's take a look on datasets and metrics. Public 3D datasets are classified to 3D objects and 3D things. In this paper, we focus on 3D objects. Below are the datasets we adopted. Those datasets are 3D meshes. To get the point cloud datasets we use in PCC Arena, we do the following steps. First, we render in sample points on the 3D mesh. The number of sampled points is a user-defined variable. Then we get the point cloud in the same scale as the 3D mesh. To fairly compare the results from the performance evaluator, the scale of all the point cloud must be the same. So we do normalization. Here you can see the scale of normalized point cloud is bounded in 0 to 1. We categorize the objective matrix into three classes, bit rate, quality, and running time. Let me introduce some sample metrics. Chamfer distance and Hausdorff distance are both based on shortest pair distance. The difference is chamfer focus on the average case and Hausdorff focus on the worst case. We use maximum diameter among three axes as the peak value of chamfer distance PSNR. For more details on the matrix, please refer to our paper. We do some comparisons to examine our benchmark platform, PCC Arena. We choose four PCC algorithms in our experiments. Three are SP-based and one is ML-based. There are several limitations in some PCC algorithms. About Draco, after applying voxelization like the upper right corner figure, we cannot configure it to drop duplicated points in each voxel. This will make Draco produce lower resolution than other PCC algorithms under the same bit rate. GeoCNN faced a TensorFlow limitation on 3D convolution and the limitation of GPU memory size. We have configured all the PCC algorithms with our best efforts for performance comparisons. First, we look into the coding efficiency among PCC algorithms. Here we show two sample metrics, chamfer distance PSNR and Hausdorff distance. It is clear that Draco performs the worst in chamfer distance PSNR. That's because Draco does not drop duplicate points in each voxel without configuration. On the other hand, GeoCNN performs the worst in Hausdorff distance, and Hausdorff distance focuses on the worst case. That's because GeoCNN is trained with chamfer distance as the loss function, which focuses on the average case. The outlier may not be that sensitive during the training process. Next, we are worried by the data-driven nature of GeoCNN and even ML-based PCC algorithms. So we investigate the dataset dependency. As a result, the quality of three SP-based PCC algorithms were not affected by different datasets. Then we look to GeoCNN, which is ML-based. We train it with MN14, but it still performs well in other datasets. We come up with two possible reasons. Over half classes in SNC and CAPOD are overlapped in MN14. And maybe GeoCNN's NN structure can be generalized to different datasets. We are also interested in implications of point cloud density. As SP-based PCC algorithms, PCL and GPCC scale well with the point cloud density. We notice that Draco goes downhill as the density becomes higher. That's because Draco does not drop duplicate points in each voxel with our configuration. In contrast, 
GeoCNN performs better with higher density. This might be attributed to the model trend with high density. Here we show the average encoding and decoding time. In these two figures, we plot y-axis in log scale. GeoCNN, the red line, suffers from exponentially increasing encoding and decoding time. And these are the sample results from the four PCC algorithms. But our benchmark platform can handle any of other PCC algorithms. Next, we do some subjective comparisons. Before jumping into subjective comparison, let's figure out why do we need it. The main reason is application-oriented. Many point cloud applications are involved with users. Compared to objective metrics, the user experience may be more representative. The next question is how? How do we conduct the subjective comparison? First, we collect the ranks from questionnaires. We can plot the ranks with pairwise comparison metric, like the figure below. Next, we adopt packet loose model on the collected ranks and we get model coefficients. We scale the resulting model coefficients to 1 to 5 as our MOS. Here's the screenshot of our sample questionnaire. Users saw the GIF like the left hand side in the real questionnaire. The example screenshot here is asking for quality. We also conduct similarity comparison in the questionnaire. The only difference is we will show the input point cloud in the middle as the ground truth. Users will then rank the similarity based on that input point cloud. We notice some interesting results in these two figures. GeoCNN has higher MOS in subjective quality but lower MOS in subjective similarity. This indicates the output point cloud from GeoCNN is more visual appealing to users, but not really similar to input point cloud. Due to the time limitation, we only present the sample result of our user study. For more detailed results, please refer to our paper. Finally, is the conclusion. We propose an open source, comprehensive, and fair PCC benchmark platform, PCC Arena. Everyone is welcome to join us in this project. The GitHub link is noted here and also in our paper. We give some PCC algorithms recommendation for different usage scenarios here. If the short running time is critical, Draco should be taken into consideration. GPCC shows an advantage in high point cloud density, and GeoCNN has the potential to produce a more visually appealing point cloud. For the next steps, we want to involve more ML-based PCC algorithms. Here are some ML-based PCC papers from Nanjing University, Zhejiang University, and Beijing University. We would also like to extend PCC Arena to 3D scenes. About 3D scenes, Karsten's group has given a method to densify LiDAR point cloud. The paper title is Dense LiDAR Point Clouds from Room Scale Scans. And it will also be presented here the day after tomorrow in MMC's session. Interested people may want to join the talk. They use a tripod and vary the angle of one axis to expand the range of point cloud collected from LiDAR. To densify the point cloud, they try several methods for registration and alignment on the local and global side. These figures are the sample results from their system and the scanning system with tripod. And that's all of my presentations. I'm now ready to take questions.